guys, welcome back to another Asphalt 8 video. This is Carson and today I will be testing the multiplayer performance of the brand new special edition car, which is the Nice and Skyline special edition. And today I wanted to show you guys its multiplayer performance fully upgraded. I need to tell you guys that at the end I decided to not to go for this car mostly because I'm saving for a few projects I would like to show you in the future. And well, this car uh, is fairly good, but I already have a few B-class car uh, options, so I decided to not to go for it. And instead, I decided to ask my mate, Veron Black, who gave me the chance to test this car fuel upgraded, as he decided to go for it. A special thanks to Venom Black, thank you so much, mate. And well, now focusing on this car, as you already may, may have seen on the test, this car acceleration is pretty much the same as Acura NSX GT3 EVO, which is a fairly good acceleration of around 2.7 seconds, which is fairly good for its class. Let's remember that the BMW M4 GTS has an acceleration of 2.5 seconds, which is the best of B-Class, but still this car is just 0.2 seconds uh, ahead, no, well, below the BMW M4 GTS. So, well, it's not a huge difference, I have to say. And also this car strongest point is the perfect nitro duration, which is basically the best on the world B-Class cars. So yes, that's a huge strong point you need to keep in mind, especially while racing on long tracks where the perfect nitro duration will be a really, really useful feature this car has. Also, the drift radius is its main downside, I would like to say, because, well, it's a bit wide, is not uh, as the Acura NSX GT3 Evo or the BMW M4 GTS. I'm, t I'm telling you guys those examples because mostly I do not have a, a I don't use any other cars aside of these two I'm, I, I'm mentioning. So uh, uh, the perfect nitro duration is its main point. The, also, I have to say that the top speed is surprisingly high. I mean, the BMW M4 GTS goes at around 458 kilometers per hour, while this car has no problem going at 459, 460 kilometers per hour, which is not a huge difference neither, but still is something you need to keep in mind. There, I decided to knock down the that BMW M4 GTS, but don't worry because guys, that guy will take its revenge later. So, uh, as you are seeing right now, I didn't face uh, the Togs competition mostly because these races were recorded at the end of the previous classic season. While remember that the competition is always Togger on multiplayer at the beginning of each season when everyone is trying to get to Elite League. So at this point of the season, uh, everyone was already at Elite League and I didn't find uh, quite tall rivals. I found some Acuras, uh, that BMW M4 GTS, but pretty much nothing else. So, yes, this car is good. You may think it's good, but remember that it's not at the world level of competition multiplayer can offer to you. But at the end, uh, as I told on many other videos, uh, the driver hands matter a lot and depends mostly on your skills. I mean, uh, of course, as 570S can win me if the driver is skilled enough. Well, there I read on a bit random uh, spot, but anyway, uh, at this point of the race, as you can see, the first race racer is a way more skilled than me and of course managed to not to wreck or nor commit any error. So it's barely impossible to me to catch up him. Also, I have to say that on the right hand, this car can do really, really well because it has a consistent acceleration, a good nitro duration, especially with perfect nitro, which is a huge advantage, as I said several times already about this car. And well, uh, but I didn't, I decided to not to go for it at the end because, well, who knows what the future might bring. So maybe in the future there is a better car waiting for me. As many of you may know, I won the creator of the month already. So I have the chance to pick a car fully upgraded and still I decided to wait a bit more to decide which car should I pick in order to provide you guys with the best content possible. Still, I have the chance to show you guys this car performance fully upgraded. So well, hope you all enjoyed. Tell me your thoughts about this car in the description if you are going for it. Uh, of course, remember to claim your subscriber rewards and I will see you soon with much more Asphalt 8. Goodbye, guys.